when did you first realize you were dealing with uh, something mental health related? Uh, I'd say it was like the first time was I was like 23 and I was just like, I was dabbling in like steroids for the first time. And I was just like, first time and only time <laughs> but I was like I was like young and dumb and like you know I, I was in a relationship was like really unbalanced and then uh I basically left that relationship but I left it on like a really bad note and I went into like this spiral of like eight months of like doing drinking and like just drugs and all that and like I really for like eight months it was just like like such repetitive habit and like I wake up super depressed and I like wish wouldn't even do anything about it I just keep going keep going keep going going to work every day coming after work drinking and then uh it was basically I was it was like a Sunday morning I just like woke up I was sitting on the edge of the bed and I just like started bawling my eyes out and then uh basically my brother called me at the time and he basically just he could hear me and he they, he knew what was going on like he knew what i had been doing my mom and him had been like basically helping me like pay my bills and all that and like mm -hmm. behind the scenes and nobody really knew that everybody you know a lot of people thought of always like you know i've always made good money i've always done well for myself and all that but there was like you know periods in my life where like my brothers like really carried me through mm -hmm. and so uh at this time he called me and he knew right away like about what the night before was like and he was just called me he's like you need to come home and move in with me, move to Chilliwack, stay in my spare room, get yourself straight. And he's like, cause you're gonna like, you're gonna die. Cause mm -hmm. this was like right in the middle of that fentanyl crisis when it all began. Right, right. And I was just like doing blow all the time and like not even caring who I got it from. And like, I had, I knew people that had died. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I knew people that had family members die and all that. So I knew right there when he called me and said that I was like, I gotta get out of this. Mm -hmm. So it, probably a couple of weeks later I started getting into counseling and it was like I realized that I had I had like I had a lot more going on mentally like it wasn't even so much the alcohol as it was just me emotionally not being able to handle what was going on in my head mm -hmm. and once I figured that out I was able to like it really just turned on me that like hey like I need this I need to be seeing somebody I need to be unloading my emotions on somebody that's like very unbiased mm -hmm. and then um, yeah that was like really the first time you know like a couple of years went by and I'd say I was 26 and I stopped drinking because I was like I, I had at this time I was I wasn't drinking for probably a year and then I Stop drinking. I was like, this is just what I want to be doing. I don't want to be drinking and mm -hmm. all that. And then I was going, still seeing counselor and it was helping out a lot. And then uh, basically something happened in, in a new relationship I was in. And it basically kind of dropped me off the edge of like my emotions again. I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know it like, you know, you're hurt. That person hurt you, mm -hmm. you know. So I basically I was at work one day and... At this time, like, my friends had had anxiety, and I was, like, I didn't understand it because I was, like, how could something, you know, like, control you like that? <laughs> yeah, Like, yeah. how could something really take over your body? Like, and I was really hard on my best friend, Kenny. He had it for years, and I was, like, come on, man, get out of the house. Come on, man, do this. And he was, like, man, I, I can't. Mm -hmm. And I was just always, like, like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. That. Like, come on. Like, just got off the couch, and I never understood it. And I was at work one day, and I was, like, really... I was going through a lot of emotions from being hurt and I literally was uh, working by the airport and I literally just got this like my heart rate went through the roof. I couldn't breathe and I was like just literally <laughs> stuck still and I was like I think I'm going to throw up and my boss was like you okay you look white and I was like what is happening to me and I started freaking out and I was like shaking and uh, Basically, I, I left work and I like hauled ass home and I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm talking to my girlfriend at the time on the phone and she goes, I think you're having an anxiety attack. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, not a chance. I don't have anxiety, yeah. like, not a chance. And then I was like, I was like at home and I'm like in bed curled in a blanket and I'm just rattled and mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong. So like she gives me uh, some CBD candies take those i pass out like instantly i'm out like a light sleep for like 14 hours wake up next day and i'm like i'm fine i'm like what the 
was that like yeah. holy man like and then i i was like so i brush it off i'm like oh maybe i was just having a bad day and then it kept happening it kept mm-hmm. happening and then uh i realized what was happening i was like i was having anxiety attacks like regularly mm-hmm. and i was then i was about a month later i went back out of town to work and i work like six thousand feet in the ground like i get in a cage and they lower you down and like you work there for 12 hours a day they bring you back up kind of situation it's like dark yeah it's pitch black <laughs> like you could turn all the lights off in your house and you wouldn't you'd see your your eyes would adjust you can't adjust down there yeah, like if yeah. you don't have your cap lamp on your hard hat like that's it yeah you're you're rubbing the wall all the way until you find a place yeah yeah so i was going down every day and i was like for the first by like four hours of the day i would just like anxiety shaking can't handle it my brother's like right behind me he's like you gotta calm down man like you gotta like 